with things we already know. So this is your traditional deployment. We're talking, we have two sites here, A and Z. They're going up to your customer's data center and your customer can kind of view traffic. We kind of know what's going on. Super, super basic, we understand what's happening there. Um, there's sort of two different cloud models we look at. Uh, VSAS, that becomes video, as a, video surveillance as a service, or what we're talking about for deploying directly to Amazon. Um, our VSAS offering is called Kite, and how Kite works um, is we're replacing, how fancy that is, replacing the data center, so we're not going to have that centralized piece, that management server, that doesn't really exist anymore. Um, it becomes this cloud-hosted service. Um, so there's really nothing for you to do. There's no updates, there's no uh, anything you do. Just sort of think of it like Dropbox or like WebEx type thing where it's kind of the as a service. Um, our users end up viewing video over uh, the cloud itself so they can view video directly. If they're on site, they'll also pull direct video directly on site, not pulling it over the cloud. Um, one thing that is special for Milestone um, is those the devices on site. Those change away from a recording server uh, to a gateway device. And what that gateway device does is it um, reaches out to the camera using the same device pack you're using in Milestone and then does all of the translation stuff to get it up to the cloud. So we don't have to change firewall rules. We're not changing that kind of stuff at all. It really is just drop the gateway in and go. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, the other thing we're seeing coming out of VSAS and uh, Kite is almost there. They've said August and they kind of delayed it, um, but it's going directly cam to cloud. And so that works with like access cameras that are like your ArpTech 8, um, some of your newer stuff. It actually just becomes an A cap you load on the camera and then you just plug the camera in and it talks up to the cloud for video surveillance. So again, that's not out yet, but very, very, very soon. So that's kind of your real quick model of what like kite of how it goes together. Um, the other thing we're looking at, which is what we're kind of talking about right here, um, was AWS. And so what we're really doing there is taking uh, the VMS you know, so we have the same slide, the same traditional deployment slide you know before, and we're bringing the cloud in, being Amazon or AWS, or whoever it is gonna be for the cloud. And we're actually moving that management server off of your customer's data center up to Amazon. Um, when our users are communicating to it, they're still going to use that connection back as it's an internet connection. Um, it's pretty uncommon to see uh, people moving recording servers to the cloud right now, just because they have to have that constant upstream bandwidth. So a lot of times I'll see customers uh, put like the management server up in the cloud and then have recording servers that are kind of uh, down below it still on-prem. Um, it's that or it's going to Tiger, Tiger Bridge for sort of extending on the, uh, the storage itself. Um, and sort of the last piece, probably doesn't get too confusing, is we can take that Kite environment where it's that appliance that goes on site, it's uh, being managed as a service, and perhaps you have a customer that is like a big hospital and they're going to have like their main sock with hundreds of cameras that needs to still be an on-prem VMS but perhaps they picked up some small uh, pharmacies that are sort of in rural no man's land and they don't have a good infrastructure there. So they could use something like a Kite Gateway as a little managed service to get video up to the cloud and then connect that back into Expertech to pull that video out of the cloud. So they could have like a, a security officer that could view all their sites. And you don't have to really create those VPN connections. Um, when we're looking at just the VMS in the cloud itself, when it's only, uh, when it's only just moving Expertech up, we're still going to have like VPN connections and stuff set of kind of getting things up to site.